So we had, uh, I think, a very productive day of meetings both in, uh, in Turkey and, and, and here in Greece with both our Turkish and uh, Greek allies and partners. We talked about uh, our NATO alliance, the tremendous solidarity that we have and continue to have uh, in supporting Ukraine against uh, the Russian aggression. Uh, we talked a little bit about steps to prepare for the NATO summit that will take place in Washington. In uh, Turkey, we also focused uh, extensively on uh, what Turkey can do using its influence, using its ties to help prevent the conflict in the Middle East uh, from spreading. Uh, and we also talked about the role that Turkey can play both in the day after for Gaza in terms of uh, the challenging questions of governance, Palestinian-led governance, uh, security, rebuilding, as well as the work that it can do with others to try to produce more lasting, durable peace and security uh, in the region. Leaving, uh, leaving Greece tonight, we're now heading back to the Middle East. This is um, the fourth time since October 7th that I'll be in the region. And uh, we'll be there at what remains an incredibly difficult time for the region uh, in the wake of the October 7th attacks uh, on Israel. As we've said from day one, uh, we have an intense focus on preventing this conflict from spreading. And a big part of the conversations we'll be having over the coming days with all of our allies and partners is looking at the steps that they can take using the influence and ties that they have uh, to do just that, to make sure that this conflict doesn't spread. Second, uh, we'll be looking at what we can do to maximize the protection uh, for civilians, maximize humanitarian assistance uh, getting into them, uh, and also to get hostages out uh, of Gaza. Uh, the situation for men, women, and children uh, in Gaza remains dire. Far too many Palestinians have been killed, especially children. Far too many uh, remain incredibly challenged in terms of their access to food, to water, to medicine, to the essentials of life. So it's imperative that we see a substantial and sustained increase in the assistance that's getting to them as well as to the protection of uh, civilians in general.